In this tutorial, we're going to learn the basics of crocheting by making a dishcloth using single crochet. Before you begin, you'll want to make sure you have some yarn, crochet hook, a yarn needle, and a pair of scissors. The yarn I'm using is Lily Sugar and Cream 100% Cotton Medium Worsted Weight Yarn. And the label suggests using a 5mm crochet hook, but for this project I'm going to use a 6mm crochet hook um, since I don't want the stitches to be too tight. Now, to hold the hook, you can either hold it like a butter knife or you can hold it like a pencil. And I prefer the pencil hold, but you can do whatever's comfortable for you. Okay, so the first step is making a slip knot. And to make a slip knot, you cross the tail end of the yarn over the long end and then reach through the back side of the loop with your thumb and index finger and pull the long end through while holding onto the short end at the same time. Like that. I'll do that again. So you cross the tail end of the yarn over the long end and then you reach through the back side of the loop with your thumb and index finger then pull the end, the long end, through while holding onto the short end at the same time. Now once you have your slip knot, you'll want to put your hook through the loop and then tighten it. Now your left hand is used to create tension for the yarn. It's basically the same idea as threading a sewing machine to create tension. So weave the yarn over the pinky under the next two fingers and then back over the index finger. And then you pinch the yarn between your thumb and middle finger just below the slip knot. And as you crochet, make sure to keep a comfortable tension so that the yarn can move freely through your fingers. You don't want the tension to be too tight or too loose or else you'll end up with inconsistent stitches. And this will take practice, but will eventually become second nature. Okay, so now we're going to make our foundation row by making 21 chain stitches. And to make a chain, you start with the hook in front of the yarn, and then you wrap the yarn over and pull through the loop. And that's one chain. So again, Start with the hook in front of the yarn, wrap the yarn around the hook, and then pull through the loop. Now we'll make 19 more chains. Also, make sure to keep moving your left hand up just below the hook every few stitches so it's easier to control. Okay, now that we have our foundation row of 21 chains, we're going to begin row 1 using a single crochet stitch. And to make a single crochet, you insert your hook into the second stitch from the hook. You yarn over and pull up a loop, then yarn over again and pull through both loops. That's one single crochet. So again, insert your hook into the next chain, yarn over and pull up a loop, then yarn over again and pull through both loops. Now we'll make 18 more single crochet until we get to the end of the row.
Now to begin row two, you'll chain one and turn your work. Then insert your hook into the second stitch from the hook. Then, oh, and you want to make sure that you're going underneath the top two loops. Then yarn over and pull up a loop. Then yarn over again and pull through both loops. That's one single crochet. So again, insert your hook into the next single crochet underneath the top two loops. Then yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over again and pull through both loops. And now we'll just keep continuing our single crochet all the way across to the end of the row. Okay, and now we're just going to repeat row 2 for a total of 20 rows or until we form a square. Now that I finished row 20, we want to fasten off the yarn. So we're going to chain 1 and then cut the yarn a few inches from the end. And then we're just going to pull the end through and tighten it. Okay, now the last step we need to do is weave in our ends. So we take the yarn through the yarn needle and weave it through only the top loops of the stitches so that you can't see so that you can't see it from the back side. It's only going to go through the top stitches. You go about an inch or so and then you go back through the other direction. Top loops only. And that'll secure it. And then you can just trim the ends off. And that's it! Please stay tuned for more video tutorials and visit my blog at polka.posh.blogspot.com to see what else I'm up to.